we're between the iliac crest and that 12th rib, and we're pretty close to the spine. So the QL is kind of a blocky muscle like that. So it doesn't come all the way to the side. How you find it is you want to make sure you're in between those two bones. So between iliac crest, there's the top of his pelvis there, and then you can just kind of palpate for the 12th rib. It's easier to find the 12th rib or like where the rib cage ends on the side and then kind of work your way in because here we have lat, we have erectors, we even have a little bit of the serratus posterior. You just got a lot of tissue on top of the ribs. It's going to make it harder to feel the edge of the ribs. Uh, just remember that they kind of come at an angle like that. So you've got a little more space here than you do out here. So find that 12th rib, palpate in. I'm just going to go right dead smack in between those two bones. I'm going to palpate to find where the erectors drop off. And you will feel it. So rep erectors are pretty strong right there. It can, it's like a small rope in there. And then I'm going to feel where it drops off. Once it drops off, which is about there, stack thumbs. I'm going to go down towards the table first. And then I'm going to redirect my pressure once I hit enough depth back towards the spine. Remember the QL is at the level of the spine. Okay, so I've got to get underneath the erectors to start hitting QL. So I'm going to go down and then back in towards the spine. Now, once I'm here, I can just hold. This will probably be sensitive for most people. It's going to take them a second. Usually some people will be like, I'll give you a little side twitch because they're like, whoa, touching my kidney. You're not touching my kidney. Now we can shake. We can also remove a hand. And we can start to oscillate the pelvis. So I would just gently to the side. And basically, I'm trying to get the pelvis to move without the rest of the spine moving. So I'm kind of like moving the pelvis, moving this lower attachment of the QL and not necessarily the ribs. Does that make sense? So I'm getting this portion to move, moving this lower half while the rest of it is staying stationary or ideally. Somebody who has a really stiff lower back is going to move like this. We're just kind of all moves together. <laughs> I'm not getting, I'm getting all kind of whole body movement here, not much as just the pelvis, but some people who are a little more lax in the lower back, you can get the pelvis to move on its own. Right, his whole spine's just kind of moving, which is good. It means he probably needs this. Needs a little bit of this. Yeah, no. Not broken. Okay, but I want you to feel for this first. Find that drop off. Once it drops off, you're going down to the level of the spine and then back towards his spine. So you're trying to get almost like trying to reach underneath the erectors. And they will feel it usually. They will feel it. They're going to be like, oh, yeah, you're on something. And then from there, you can just shake. You can mobilize the pelvis. There is another way to do it, but it's in sideline. So we'll have to save that for another day. But that's just kind of the easiest way to do it. So let's hit that one. 